we have the Nike Free, a shoe that's known by many runners, probably mostly for its flexibility in multiple directions. Is it a good running shoe? Not my place to say, but in general, we need to talk about this shoe because it's out there. So, first things first, the fly knit, woven in different kind of thicknesses in order to give support in different areas. So through the midfoot here of that forefoot or the middle of that forefoot, should I say, far more breathable through there, a lot more stretchy fly knit material. Whereas through the kind of extremities of that forefoot, we can see it's a lot tighter, it's woven a lot more densely so as to add more support to the foot. We also get that denser woven knit through the midfoot alongside these little fly wire bits of material that you can see up around the lacing there. So that really helps to lock down that foot, almost as if you're being locked down like putting on a seatbelt, so locking you in place and holding you there. Around the heel, again, we have some softness through the back of the heel pocket just to let that heel sit in there really nicely. And then within the shoe, I'm not sure if you can see, but we have an extra reinforced area to just hold the back of that heel cup and Achilles really nicely. We then go to the underside of the shoe, which is where the free kind of is in its own league. We have all these hexagonal shapes which aid with that flexibility not only through the forefoot in one direction but also multi-directional so it really allows when that foot makes contact to the ground to really give you that good splay and good different shapes of movement really you can see there's little bits of darker rubber so this is rubber's name bs 1000 brs sorry 1000 through the forefoot at that toe off position and also at the heel where you make initial contact or some people make initial contact Overall, do you know what? For me personally, and I know everyone is very different, I like to use this shoe for track work. I like to use it for classes such as Barry's Boot Camp or every other class that's out there as well. Um, but I would very, very rarely run anything more than five kilometres in this shoe. Now, that's because of how my foot function is. I know my mechanics as well. And I know that my body does not respond well to running in the shoe far. That's not to say, though, that you cannot run far in the shoe. I would just take it with a pinch of salt and do not go out and run 10 miles straight away if your previous shoe was something like a Mizuno Wave Rider or a Nimbus or even if it was a Pegasus and it was something from Nike because this is a definitely a different ride. Um, so yeah, overall, Nike free, think what you want, but it's a pretty sexy shoe.